Hi, we meet again on day two of on the day era. two. Yes, um, yesterday was a great one. It was a good start yesterday. Yeah, thank you. Um, I came in here very early as yeah. an exhibitor, yeah. and I saw the change in yeah. the setup. Yeah. Um, what influenced uh, Aero South Africa to change the setup this this year? Well, of course, we try to learn every year, mm -hmm. and the learnings from the previous year will influence the setup of the new year, and mm -hmm. then. We take the learnings from this year and apply them next year and we hope that over time we we, we improve mm. every year because mm. um, as a team we always want to improve on things mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so uh, last year if you remember we had a lot of snow peaks on that side yes but you couldn't yeah. see you couldn't see the planes mm. the airfield yes so yeah. we said okay let's change that a little oh, let's yeah. open it up a let's bit have so lane we can of see time. what's happening here and uh, yeah so that's these are always uh, things that we think of changing Okay, and I see the number of aircraft displays has actually gone uh, gone up this yes, year compared to, to, yeah. to last year. D yeah. Does this mean there's more of an appetite amongst aircraft manufacturers, sellers and resellers? There is, of course, yeah. Um, so the show is has been growing. Mm. Um, also, the interest internationally has been growing, which yes. is really, really great. Mm -hmm. um, and we see that, um, first of all, in the inquiries of the international exhibitors who want to come into this market but we also see it in the number of international visitors and buyers that want to attend the show yes, yes. and uh, on that front um, just I looked into the numbers just the day before the show and it was really encouraging to see that we had registration from not only all across South Africa okay. literally all, all across the provinces. South Africa wow. all the provinces okay but also, of course, all the neighboring countries. Yes. But even from Nigeria, from Angola and so on, okay. we had interest to, of people to come here, which is really, really good. Mm -hmm. Because our ambition is to make this show grow into, A, the biggest show in Southern Africa, but yep. then in Africa, in Africa as, well. as well, right? Okay. And we are on a good path to achieve that. I'm happy to see that it's, it is by itself organically becoming an African show. Yeah. If you're, you're, listing, you're, you're, you're listing countries in West Africa yes. and you are hoping that there will be a ripple effect. Yes. And you're going to see more and more countries exactly. coming yeah. through. But I'm also happy for SADC, the Southern African countries, yeah. to be taking an, an interest because for them as a continent, I mean, so as a country, in the general aviation sector, let me take the example of training. Mm. We train most pilots who come from outside South Africa, mm -hmm. from in the neighboring South, and their the license is recognized there. Yeah. So I, I think you're doing a good thing um, there. And then the youth development program, I saw a lo lot of young people yes. roaming around. Tell, tell us more about that. We revived the youth development program, mm -hmm. and we decided to have a separate registration for that. Because if we have all in one registration, then you know we it's not so distinct, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And we wanted to also make sure that those youth that register, mm -hmm. they give us a motivation of why. Okay. Because okay. Uh, otherwise it could be just random I registration. See. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We were actually really blown away by it. We had about 590 youth registrations. Okay. And okay. these are this is, this is a very very good number. Okay, that's huge. However, the program is uh, mainly tomorrow, so oh, yeah. on the last day. Yes. And so tomorrow from eleven o'clock, that's when it starts, mm -hmm. and that's when we'll see the outcome of that. Um, we're very excited about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so that that was a, a good, okay, a good new initiative for this year. Great. You also we also saw the general aviation in Dubai on the yes. first day of the conference yeah. of yeah. the event yeah mm. so um you suggested it to us and you came with a program and which was uh, really yeah wonderful mm. i feel very happy that we have uh, friends and partners like that mm -hmm. um, because all of that adds to the uh, flavor of the show yes and i've attended it yesterday thank you for uh, organizing it okay um and it was a really really amazing program mm. what the department of uh, uh land 
help I you don't know what it's called under the new resources, system. right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, had to present there with their drone surveillance and so on. It yes. was really, really interesting. Yeah. And uh, what the CIA had to say was very interesting. Mm. Uh, um, then, of course, uh, about the uh, women in aviation was also an interesting topic. Yes. So great topics mm -hmm. and um, very important topics for the sector. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it was a great start mm -hmm. and uh, we had a full house. Mm -hmm. So that was also good. Hopefully we will uh, develop it in, yes. you know, to be even more richer for next year. It's a, mm. a seed that was planted and it will grow, definitely. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. We're at the end of day two and this is it. I'm chatting here with Michael. He's happy with the past two days. We're looking forward to the last day of the show. And after this, we begin talks about 2025 because yes. Aero South Africa is always looking to bring you nothing else but the best. Absolutely. at the continental level. Okay, right. Thank you so much. For thank you. Thank you so much.